out anything. Some hand sanitizer to make sure I have clean hands. Isn't my nail polish cute? I like it. I never have my nails like done, so but that was a cute color. Ew, I have chubby fingers. <laughs> Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about how I switch and clean my industrial piercing. I've had it for, I think, four years. Maybe four and a half. I can't remember, but I think it's been four years. And I have only switched it once. Once before this. So I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to try to switch it for some cleaning. Something that I got. Something that's cute. Because, I don't know, it's just gotten boring. So, yeah. Alright, so let's get right into it. Um, so what I need, or what I'm going to use, is going to be some alcohol, some peroxide, and some, a few q-tips that I already have. So I can go ahead and clean it and just switch it. Um, so I do have two mirrors, so hopefully that makes it easier. And it doesn't take me too long. I don't know, sorry, my lips are dry. It's still winter here, so my lips are dry. Alright, but I'm gonna go ahead and use another mirror just in case I can really see what's going on. Okay, so first step, we're gonna use peroxide, you know, just, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use the lid of the bottle and just do a little dab because it's not that much but I'm gonna go ahead and clean both sides Okay, so anyway, now that I've cleaned that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the actual bar. This is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I'm actually really excited to switch it because I can't remember when was the last time I switched it. So this is alcohol. I just have a little alcohol in a spray bottle. So you just and spray it make sure it's clean and just let it air dry in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and move those out of the way because they were in my way oh yeah and before i switched or touched anything some hand sanitizer to make sure i have clean hands isn't my nail polish cute i like it i never have my nails like done so but that was a cute color. Ew, I have chubby fingers. So that's air drying. And let's see. Okay, so now that that's air drying, maybe a little QA about it. So I've had it for about four years, maybe four years and a half. And um it's actually been kinda hard because it's in your ear, right? And if you sleep on this side, what side is this? It's my right side. So if I sleep on my right side, and if I sleep on it wrong, or if I sleep on it like too heavy towards my pillow, I don't know. If I just sleep on it, it just gets like swollen up, and it doesn't get infected, but it gets swollen up, and then I get like this little bump, like the one I have right now, because I did sleep on it. Um, I don't remember to sleep on my other side. And, okay, I got it. Um, it actually, for me, didn't hurt. I have a very high pain tolerance. So it didn't really hurt because 
I mean this bottom part when the needle went through and it pierced it, it didn't hurt for me because it's, no, it's just cartilage. So it doesn't really hurt. It's just mainly skin. But up here is the one that hurt a little bit more. Just because, I don't know, it just feels like it's tougher skin. So when it went through up here, um, it kind of did hurt, but it wasn't too bad. So I also have my belly button pierced and that doesn't hurt at all for me. But, um, I don't know, for me aftercare wasn't like very tricky because I did clean it every day and they do give you like a, you can buy a solution to clean it but I didn't. I just used peroxide, a little bit of alcohol and um, warm salt water rinses. Um, so it's just, I would just soak it and leave it on for like 10-15 minutes and then that's how it healed faster. The healing process, I'm gonna say it took like a good six months to a year before it was really good and it wasn't like swollen up in the top part or like the bottom one. So it does take about, I don't know, like six, six months to a year depending on how much you clean it and take care of it. But I just try not to touch it a lot and I try not to sleep on it on this side or my right side. So yeah, that's kind of what I just, kind of what I did. I didn't switch it right away. I know some people do just wait like a month or like a month and a half and they switch it. They do tell you not to, you know, for like at least three, I can't remember, it was like three months to maybe six months. So I didn't touch it that whole year or like being swollen because I slept on it or I don't know. Yeah, but it's swollen. It's not like, it doesn't have like pus or anything. So yeah. Okay, so enough about that. Um, I know I'm kind of nervous because I haven't switched in in a while. And then I lost one of the little ends, so I had to switch it for <laughs> another one. Okay, but let me try to do it. And I don't know if you can see. There we go. Okay, so hopefully that helps. I'm just gonna do it in my mirror here because I don't wanna mess this up. But I should just grab it. Oh god. What? Hold on, it's not twisting. It's not twisting. Oh, there we go. One of them is out. I think I'm just gonna like... Oh, oh. So just pull it up. Okay, I'm just gonna like pull it up. Slightly. And that didn't hurt. Like, if it hurts when you're doing that, it shouldn't. Um, that's how you know it's not completely healed. This is a q-tip, a clean q-tip that I'm just gonna use to kind of clean the area and I don't know, I've, I haven't had a lot of problems with it but my, this is, oh there's an actual, look, that's what it looks like I haven't seen my ear like that in a while. Anyway, a little bit of alcohol so I can clean it again. Just make sure it's clean, real clean. Wow. That's so weird. I've never seen my ear like that. Why is my hair? Why does my hair keep sticking out? Jesus. Jeez. Okay, so this is what I'm using. Or what I'm switching it to. Kind of cute. It's diamonds. It's diamonds. So I think I'm gonna do. I'm only gonna unscrew one of the sides. So this is what I'm gonna be doing. My hands are clean. Don't worry. But just in case. Through. Okay, it's 
So I'm just, what I'm doing, I'm just gonna push it through and I've already started. And it feels like it's the right size. It doesn't really hurt. So, um, hopefully I don't have any problems with it. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, so, it's in. Wow, I thought it was gonna be harder. Way harder. Oh, it looks cute. Um, so I need to do a saltwater rinse tomorrow so that this little bump goes away because it's just a little swollen. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to screw this on. It's like a super small piece, so kind of really die. Okay, so okay, so it's in now. That was so much easier. Okay, but this is what it looks like. Yay. Okay, so now that it's in, I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Oh, I have to save this just in case. So, this is what I had for, I don't know, like two years, I think. This is the one I lost, so I had to replace it with a different one. But yeah, I've had it for like two years. I didn't touch it just because I was scared to stretch it. But now I am so, so happy. It's so cute. And it looks really good. I think that's it. That's all I'm going to do. And yeah, that's everything that I'm doing today. I'm working on new videos, so stay tuned for that. But yeah. Cute. Is there pictures? I'm just kidding. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel different, which I'm glad. But I'm worried about the little studs. The little diamonds that they might hurt when I sleep on it. Oh wait, I said I wasn't gonna sleep on that side today, so I mean I don't know, I think I'm only gonna have it for like a month or something just to see if I like it. I did get a new one, or I'm going to get a new one. I bought it offline, so hopefully it gets here soon. But it has, that one has like, um, diamond studs here in the middle, so it looks cute. And it's just the regular little barbell. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Um, you guys can ask me any questions if you do want to. Um, I can answer questions if you have questions, like I said. Um, if you are planning to get it or want it to, much different as when you get your belly button pierced because it's the same needle that they use and the same um, gauge. That was called gauge. Um, uh, but I did have a friend there with me just for support. But um, yeah, so um, if you wanted to get it, you can. I wouldn't. I mean, for me, I wouldn't get any, like, piercings on my face. I was thinking of getting, like, a nose piercing, but I don't know. I'm kind of insecure about my nose, so I gotta think about that. But, um, some tips just to clean it right after you get it, so don't sleep on it. Like, don't sleep on that side, um, for at least, like, try to as much as you can, but maybe, like, a week, two weeks, um, Daily, clean it daily with um, salt water, warm salt water, and just try to not touch it. 
um, because your hands most of the time are dirty and kind of your hair also is a little bit um, so try to have your hair out of the way and um, that it doesn't really touch the piercing so that's another thing um, yeah that's all I have hopefully you guys like this video and stay tuned for more